Give me justice, O God, and plead my cause against a nation that is faithless. From the deceitful and cunning, rescue me, for you, O God, are my strength. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, and the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you. Amen. Our brothers and sisters in Christ, welcome. Uh, Father Chris and Deacon Jim here celebrating Mass for the fifth Saturday, fifth Sunday, sorry, of Ordinary Time, uh, Lent. This Sunday of Lent, I know where I am, but um, sometimes the words don't come up right. So, uh, brothers and sisters at home, if you could please uh, join with me in the Guardian Angel Prayer. A Guardian Angel at my side, go to the church for me, kneel in my place at Holy Mass, where I desire to be. At offertory in my stead, take all I am and own, and place it as a sacrifice upon the altar throne. At Holy Consecration's bell, adore with seraph's love, my Jesus hidden in the host, come down from heaven above. When the priest communion takes, I bring my Lord to me, that his sweet heart may rest in mine, and I his temple be. Brothers and sisters in Christ, again, welcome. Let us acknowledge our sins and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. I confess to Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and my words, in what I have done and what I have failed to do. Through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore, I ask, Blessed Mary, ever virgin, all the angels and the saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy. Christ have mercy. Christ have mercy. Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy. Let us pray. By your help we beseech you, Lord our God, may we walk eagerly in that same charity with which, out of love for the world, your Son handed himself over to death. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. Amen. A reading from the book of the prophet Jeremiah. The days are coming, says the Lord, when I will make a new covenant with the house of Israel and the house of Judah. It will not be like the covenant I made with your fathers. The day I took them, by the, I took them by the land to lead them forth from the land of Egypt, for they broke my covenant. And I had to show myself their master, says the Lord. For this is the covenant that I will make with the house of Israel after those days, says the Lord. I will place my law within them and write it upon their hearts. I will be their God and they shall be my people. No longer will they have need to teach their friends and relatives how to know the Lord. All from the least to the greatest shall know me, says the Lord. For I will forgive them their evil doing and remember their sin no more. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. God. Create a clean heart in me, O God. Create a clean heart in me, O God. Have mercy on me, O God, in your goodness. and the greatness of your compassion, wipe out my offense. Thoroughly wash me from my guilt and of my sin cleanse me. Create a clean heart for me, O God. A clean heart create for me, O God, and a steadfast spirit, spirit renew within me. Cast me not out from your presence, and your Holy Spirit take not from me. Create a clean heart for me, O God. Give me back the joy of your salvation, and a willing spirit sustaining me. I will teach transgressors their, your ways, and sinners shall return to you. Create a clean heart in me, O God. A reading from the second from the letters to the Hebrews. In the days when Christ Jesus was in the flesh, he offered prayers and supplications with loud cries and tears to the one who was able to save him from death and he was heard because of his reverence. Son though he was, he learned obedience from what he suffered. 
and when he was made perfect, he became the source of eternal salvation for all who obey him. The word of the Lord. Lord, in your heart, the Lord, your friend, this gospel word, the Lord, in the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit, amen. Praise you, Lord Jesus Christ, Christ King, King of heaven and Lord. Lord. Whoever serves me must follow me, says the Lord, and where I am, there also will my servants be. Praise Jesus you, Lord, Lord Jesus, Jesus Christ, Christ, King of heaven and Lord. Lord. The Lord be with you, and with your spirit. spirit, a reading. From the Holy Gospel according to John. Glory to you, Lord. <clears throat> Some Greeks who had come to worship at the Passover feast came to Philip, who is from Bethsaida in Galilee, and asked him, Sir, we would like to see Jesus. Philip went and told Andrew, and then Andrew and Philip went and told Jesus. Jesus answered them, the hour has come for the Son of Man to be glorified. Amen, amen, I say to you, unless a grain of wheat falls to the ground and dies, it remains just a grain of wheat. But if it dies, it produces much fruit. Whoever loves his life loses it. And whoever hates his life in this world will preserve it for eternal life. Whoever serves me must follow me, and where I am, there also will my servant be. The Father will honor whoever serves me. I am troubled now, yet what should I say? Father, save me from this hour? But it was for this purpose that I came to this hour. Father, glorify your name. Then a voice came from heaven. I have glorified it and will glorify it again. The crowd there heard it and, thought, and said it was thunder. But others said, an angel has spoken to him. Jesus answered and said, this voice did not come for my sake, but for yours. Now is the time of judgment on this world. Now the ruler of this world will be driven out. And when I am lifted up from the earth, I will draw everyone to myself. He said this, indicating the kind of death he would die. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. You've all heard that old joke about um, the only things that are certain in this life are death and taxes, right? Well, I'd like to add a third item on that list, change. And I'd kind of like to think that God's love is up in there somewhere. Maybe not number four, maybe higher, but, but I digress. Our lives are in a constant state of change. I mean, just the changes in the last 18 months would seem to be enough for anyone's lifetime. I mean, between COVID and presidential elections and crazy weather events and what all, this whole world seems continually in chaotic change. And because things change around us, we also change. Hopefully, mostly for the better but unfortunately not always. Maybe we don't understand why God does the things that he does. But because God loves us, if we take the time 
to look closely enough, we can make out a delicate balance that he has created within it all. But we don't or can't always take the time to, that we need to see it, really see it. And that's why we have Lent and why we have Easter, to appreciate the changes and appreciate the balance. Our gospel reading today starts off with some Greeks, who are likely some Greek Jews that came over to celebrate the Passover, which was about to happen in the next few days. These foreign travelers had all obviously heard a lot about Jesus and want to meet him. And after a series of handoffs between the apostles, they finally get to meet Jesus. And he appears to greet them saying, the hour has come for the son of man to be glorified. Amen, amen, I say to you, unless a grain of wheat falls to the ground and dies, it remains just a grain of wheat. But if it dies, it produces much fruit. Now these Greek Jews are probably looking at each other with kind of puzzled looks and thinking, earth is this guy talking about hours and wheat? We, of course, know at that point that Christ's hour has indeed come, that he is about to endure his passion, his death, and his resurrection to redeem the world. And we understand the grain of wheat must cease to exist or die in order for new fruit new life to be given to all of us. But at this moment, the Greeks didn't know this. Even the apostles didn't really fully know this. But we know this. It's why we're sitting in these pews right now, right? But it's this next part that we forget. Just like Christ, we too must die to ourselves in order to experience new life with him the balance in every death there is life we see this reflected every year in god's own creation the wilting of the plants in fall and their deaths in the cold of winter lead to the promise of new spring life and it's flourishing in the summer. The deaths of animals result in decay, which enriches the soil, allowing new plants to grow, which provide foods for new animals until they too pass on and enrich the soil. Always changing, always balanced. Today, Jesus tells us whoever loves his life loses it. And whoever hates the, his life in this world will preserve it for eternal life. We need to give up things that we think we need, things we think we can't live without, things we know we can't bring with us to heaven. We need to plant ourselves in that rich, rich soil of our faith and not the dry, barren soil of the world. We need to let it all go and simply follow God. And for doing that, Jesus tells us, the Father will honor whoever serves me. We listen to these words. They're tough to listen to. We have to acknowledge that each and every one of us is a sinner a sinner in need of God's graces. But can we really let go of all that we have? Can we really survive such enormous changes in our lives? Now, we may not actually have to give up our home, our income, our family, our friends. We just have to be willing to do that. Abraham was ready to sacrifice his son Isaac to God. Can we do the same?
It's hard to comprehend. And yet, is it? If we think about it, we give up little things a little bit every single day. And things change. We have relationships that come and go. But in some of those relationships, we are willing to give up parts of ourselves in order to be with that person and help them grow. And hopefully they do the same for us as well. And what parent hasn't sacrificed for the sake of their children? Time, money, even sleep. And as we care for aging and ill family members, we sometimes give up being with our own very families to be sure that they are cared for properly and pass away comfortably and peacefully. We've already given up things for our educations, our business plans, our careers, our dreams. We know how to do this already. That's also why we have Lent every year, to remind us that we can give up little things, that the sacrifice is worth it, that the change in us is worth it, that we can always do better, always do more, always give more than last time. And yet, Regardless of all that, we may acknowledge that the sheer thought of giving all that we have up is terrifying for us. And Jesus, in fact, did know this. Remember, he is fully divine and fully human. He knows and experiences our emotions and our fears just as much as we do. But he does not let these emotions decide how he must act. We hear him say today, I am troubled now. See, he's worried too. But he also realizes, yet what should I say? Father, save me from this hour? Then he shows us his resolve. But it was for this purpose that I came to this hour. Father, glorify your name. That's the ultimate goal. The happy, healthy family, the satisfying career, the successful business. Yeah, that's, that's all well and good. But the true pot of gold at the end of the rainbow is eternal life with Christ in heaven. Balance. God shows us what we give now, we receive in a thousandfold in heaven. And God, as always, gives us food for the journey in the most holy sacrifice of the Eucharist, which gives us strength and fortitude, as Jesus had, to recognize that we are indeed it is for this purpose that we too have come we can change we are given plenty of opportunities to change and we've already changed many many times before we've already given up so much for ourselves and for our families but at the end of it all we need to ask ourselves one question. What are we willing to give up for Christ? Brothers and sisters, let us now profess our faith. I believe in one God, the Father Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, of all things visible and invisible. I believe in one Lord, Jesus Christ, the only begotten Son of God, born of the Father before all ages, 
God from God, light from light, true God from true God, begotten, not made, consubstantial with the Father. Through him all things are made. For us men and for our salvation he came down from heaven, and by the Holy Spirit was incarnate of the Virgin Mary and became man. For our sake he was crucified with Pontius Pilate, he suffered death and was buried, and rose again on the third day in accordance with the Scriptures. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again in glory to judge the living and the dead, and his kingdom will have no end. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the giver of life, who proceeds from the Father and the Son, who with the Father and the Son is adored and glorified, who has spoken to the prophets. I believe in one holy, Catholic, and apostolic church. I confess one baptism for forgiveness of sins, and I look forward to the resurrection of the dead and the life of the world to come. Amen. Brothers and sisters, at this time, let us lift up our intentions to our Lord. Our response will be, Lord, hear our prayer. Lord, hear our prayer. That the Eucharist may be always the source and summit of the Church's life and ministry, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That people of every nation may have the determination to work for peace and justice, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That we may experience the sacrament of reconciliation with renewed death, to taste the infinite mercy of God. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That the elect and the candidates preparing to enter the Catholic Church may be drawn closer to Christ during this Lenten season. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That in imitation of Jesus we may die to self and live to serve those most in need. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer that we may continue to follow our Lord this Lent with our eyes focused on the wood of the cross. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That those who have gone on before us be with God forever, especially John Thomas, and for the intention for whom this Mass is offered, St. <laughs> Mary Magdalene parishioners, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer and for those intentions that we hold in the silence of our hearts. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Lord Jesus, we thank you for hearing all of these, our intentions. We know that you know everything that we need, everything that we are to become. We do ask you, Lord, to help us through the changes in this life, especially with the greatest change, Lord, our hearts for you. Our hearts were made for you, and we ask you to keep blessing us every moment until we see you in heaven, but that we continue to get closer to you every day of our lives. And we thank you for this gift. We ask you for this grace in your name, in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. Together, let us pray our family prayer. Love, Love and, and faithful God, God, through the years the people of our diocese have appreciated the prayers and love of our, our Lady of Prom Sucker in times of war, disaster, epidemic, and illness. We come to you, Father, with Mary, our mother, and ask you to help us in the battle of today against violence, murder, and racism. We implore you to give us your wisdom that we may build a community founded on the values of Jesus, which gives respect to life and dignity of all people. Bless parents that they may form their children in faith, Bless and protect our youth, that they may be peacemakers of our time. Give consolation to those who have lost loved ones through violence. Hear our prayer and give us the perseverance to be a voice for life and human dignity in our community. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Our Lady of Prom Sucker, please help us. Mother Henrietta Delil, pray for us that we may be a holy family. Please be
Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation. But through your goodness, we have received the bread we offer you. Fruit of the earth and work of human hands, it will become for us the bread of life. Blessed, Blessed be God forever. forever. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation. But through your goodness, we have received the wine we offer you. Fruit of the vine and work of human hands, it will become our spiritual drink. Blessed, Blessed be God forever. forever. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. Hear us, Almighty God, and having instilled in your servants the teachings of the Christian faith, graciously purify them by the working of this sacrifice through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift, lift them up to the Lord. Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It, it is, is right, right and just. just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, through Christ our Lord. For by your gracious gift each year, your faithful await the sacred Paschal feasts with the joy of minds made pure so that it more eagerly intent on prayer and on the works of charity and participating in the mysteries by which they have been reborn, they may be led to the fullness of grace that you bestow on your sons and daughters. And so with angels and archangels, with thrones and dominions, with all the hosts and powers of heaven, we sing the hymn of your glory as without end we acclaim. Holy, 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 holy Lord, Lord, God of hosts, Heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world, and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis our Pope and Gregory our Bishop and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, the Blessed Apostles, with Saint Mary Magdalene and with all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, 
in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. Amen. <clears throat> At the Savior's command, informed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For, for the, the kingdom, kingdom the power, and the power, and the glory is yours now and forever. forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not in our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who will live and reign forever and ever. Amen. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let's offer each other the sign of Christ. Peace. 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 Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Pray us peace. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy. You should enter into my room. But only say, say the word, word and my soul shall be healed. healed. For those at home, please join me in an act of spiritual communion. My Jesus, I believe that you are in the blessed sacrament. I love you above all things, and I long for you in my soul. Since I cannot now receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. As though you have already come, I embrace you and unite myself entirely to you. <coughs> Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. Amen, Amen indeed. <coughs> Let us pray. Bless, O Lord, your people who long for the gift of your mercy and grant that what at your prompting they desire they may receive by your generous gift through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. Go, Go in peace. Sorry. Oh, that's you. That's your God. <laughs> Go in peace, glorifying the Lord by your life. Thanks, Thanks be to God. God. Say, Michael, Michael be the archangel, the defend us in battle. Be our protection, protection against the wickedness and snares of the devil. May God rebuke and we humbly pray. And to thou, O Prince, the heavenly host, by the power of God, cast into hell Satan and all evil spirits who prowl throughout the world seeking to warm souls. Amen. A quick note of thank you to Miss Marilyn who read for us the first readings. Uh, also for Deacon Jim for uh, reading the gospel and of course, uh, really good, oh, by the way, it was really good. Uh, change, boy, I tell you what, death, accident, change, definitely. 
Uh, that's a good message. Uh, God bless you all. Have a great day, certainly. A uh, great week. Enjoy. Be careful. Uh, we're not done with Lent yet, so please keep up with your Lenten sacrifices for the glory of God. May God bless you guys always. Father, Son, Holy Spirit. Amen. 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 Thank you.